ever since I was little. I've never believed I could run, just always hated running. So because I hated running, I assumed that I couldn't. But what you tell yourself is exactly who you are. We are our thoughts. And I decided to change my thoughts and try to run more. I told myself four miles, no walking. And for the past six runs, I have successfully ran four miles without walking. And I went from 11 minute miles to 10 minute miles. And it inspired me to do all of this because the summer has been really, really hard. It's been so much more about growth than having a relaxing summer, enjoying summer, hot girl summer. <laughs> and so many people consider the Mediterranean lifestyle to be what it looks like on Instagram, in movies, on TikTok. They think La Dolce Vita. They think life in Positano. And that's not true. <laughs> the Mediterranean lifestyle is a lifestyle. So there's really hard times to it. I gotta start walking, guys. That's why the fifth part to creating a zestful day is trying harder because life gets hard. And so you have to keep yourself accountable for always trying harder. One of the most important parts of the Mediterranean lifestyle amongst trying harder is going with the seasons and embracing the season you're in. And it's really, really hard for me to do sometimes. For example, right now is August, gorgeous, gorgeous summertime. In my mind, it's still very much summer. It's peak summer. And so many companies are pushing fall agenda for marketing and for making money, of course. And so there's always this push, I feel like in America, and I get really, really frustrated in August to just skip over summer, go straight into fall. And if I'm in this season, I gotta feel it out. And then once I finally accept where I am, take it as it is and just have those negative emotions, I rise above it. It's so healing to go through what you're going through. You don't need to stay there, dwell. You don't need to feel sorry for yourself, have a pity party for too long. You have those moments, you have that negativity because it's healthy, it's human, it's growth. It's part of the Mediterranean lifestyle to feel out the season and then you move forward or you allow the transition of seasons. We're here together. That's why you have your community is to help you through it and you keep moving. That's my little heartfelt Caroline Alfranco talk for the start of the vlog. I'm gonna get back to this gorgeous morning run and get home and make a delicious Mediterranean diet snack and big coffee. <laughs> I was watching my last summer vlogs and I made amazing recipes last summer and sometimes it's fun to remake the recipes that I make. I remade the zucchini herb olive oil bread because it was so 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 good. It was a total fail because I used purple basil. I'm an idiot. Purple basil is going to turn the bread kind of a purple black color. So that was really, really frustrating cutting into this bread because the texture was incredible, the taste was incredible, everything about this bread is so, so good. The recipe is fail-proof. I love it so much. I decided for a post-workout, just midday snack, of course, I made my protein coffee. I reuse the Starbucks cups. If I'm with anyone who wants to go to Starbucks, I always ask for a venti water cup because I'm obsessed with their lids. Like, I know I should just get my own, like, to-go cup. I've been washing this cup since April, and it is August. I have, that's how long I've kept this cup going. So, I don't know if that's good or not, but that's what I've been doing. So, I have my protein coffee, and then I made some zucchini toast. And so, I have two types of kind of savory sweet. Basically, my favorite food in the world is savory sweet. So, I made two different variations. I have this delicious one, which is the toasted bread with pistachio butter, because I'm trying to get through that. It's just, it's so good. It's so, so good. Make your own pistachio butter. And then, all I did was figs and blackberries, both super in season in August. The Mediterranean diet is eating simple, simple things. Three or four ingredients, super high quality. You can taste all of it. The more you add, the more it's like, what are we even tasting here? So... Mmm, it's so perfect. You get a little bit of crunch from the toasted bread and the blackberries. It's super sticky, nutty pistachio butter and the sweetness of all the fruit. Mmm. This is what I eat in a day. <laughs> Breakfast is always a homemade granola bar. I have it on my website, a recipe for homemade granola bars. I use Sprout Living Protein Powder. Next, we are going to try the goat cheese. I'm obsessed with this goat cheese. Grapefruit and dried fig. So I thought it went super, super perfect with this. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. Oh my gosh. I love goat cheese so much. You could also use like a brie or a feta. You could do like a Greek yogurt or lebne. On top of this, you could do hummus. So, so, so good. Mm. So I'm gonna finish this toast. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of fun things that I've done this month. And then we're gonna continue on this full day of eating. <laughs> 
another day, another market with my madre. We are in one of the oldest and like historic areas of my town. It's called German Village and they have a monthly maker's market. It's just a bunch of like small businesses all come together and just have all these stands of awesome market stuff. But we're stopping first. Oh my gosh, it's packed. Stopping first, oh don't fall, at my favorite coffee shop in all of Columbus, but it's only good at summertime because that's when they only have outdoor seating. <laughs> and still looking for a parking spot. We're such suburb babes. We never really are good to find parking spots downtown. So I'm really excited to go. It's a gorgeous summer day. And then uh, you can park. No, you, you can't. Can fit no, because look, like you're almost up to the Tesla and it's only <sighs> Anyways, we're creating a zestful day. Speaking of creating a zestful day, my market bag is going to be the sweet lemon bag. in the background. Mom's behind me because she's got a little bit of pain so she's walking slow. She had a nice iced tea. I had the strawberry matcha which was so delicious. A perfect little treat and we're walking through German Village to the market. That peach crumble, peach crumble, what was it? Oh. Not croissant. She said Danish. Oh, Danish. Danish. Exquisite, delicious, wonderful, hit the summertime spot. So anyways, we're gonna admire beautiful German village and head to the market. What's a skyline in Italian? Skyline? Cocomero e kiwi. Kiwi. August is one of the hottest months and I feel like one of the best dishes you can make is something that doesn't involve cooking and it comes together very quickly and is refreshing and light and so a gazpacho called out to me and I was really craving one and I wanted it to be thick and creamy and also a little bit more substance than just fruit and vegetables kind of pureed up so I added soaked cashews because that was going to add some creaminess, healthy fats, a little tiny bit of protein and it was just going to add some body to the gazpacho as well as just a lot of nutritional benefits um, and also keep this dairy free and vegan because I definitely want to always make recipes that fit everyone's preferences and dietary needs and all of that. If you don't want to do the soaked cashews you could do like a fourth a cup or so of Greek yogurt for incredible rich creamy goodness as well as protein and some good probiotics or any kind of like thick dairy would work as well but I thought the soaked cashews was very fun for those who are dairy free and it adds a nuttiness that complements the cantaloupe so well cantaloupe is in prime time right now in august i feel like that's when it's very very ripe and delicious i always pick 
Tuscan melon. I think Tuscan melon always has the best flavor. Um, I just, I love it so much. And of course I wanted to keep in theme to the gorgeous cantaloupe. So for refreshing vegetable goodness, I added in what should have been a red bell pepper or, or an orange bell pepper for color. I definitely should have added um, orange or red to make it more vibrant, but you can add whatever color pepper you want. Just make sure it's a sweet bell pepper. Uh, cucumber for a little bit of refreshing goodness. A little splash of vinegar. I used white wine vinegar to kind of give it more depth of flavor, some shallot, as well as those soaked cashews and some salt. And then you blend it all together. You think you're gonna need water, but really once it starts getting going in the blender, it becomes so smooth and creamy and absolutely delicious. And you can put croutons on top for a little bit of crunch. I did a drizzle of olive oil, some herbs like basil or um, anything like mint would be really, really good on top. There's a lot of ways you could top it off, maybe even with some more like chopped toasted cashews would be really good. I just did some edible flowers because we have edible flowers and I thought they were very pretty. But this is a delicious recipe, so refreshing, so amazing for summertime, especially right now when it's so, so hot. And I really think you should try it. And I know it sounds weird to eat a cold, savory soup, but it's so much more refreshing than you could ever imagine. And if you try it, I promise you will love it. So delicious. And yeah, I just wanted to share this little recipe before we got back into the vlog. Another car ride with my mother to go get coffee and pastry, tea and pastry, and do some shopping. You think that's all I do with her. And while it is something we definitely do a lot, it's not all we do. It just happens that the only fun things to document are a little bit repetitive. I'm not showing you my everyday of ugly computer work and boring walks around the neighborhood. So don't think that's all we do. Today's really special because it's my favorite time of the year to do some shopping. I try to be very, very, very good about watching what I spend and, and shopping in general. And so I love a good sale, I love a good bargain. So all the summer things go on sale in August. I'm still full, full on summer mode in my head. So this is my favorite time of year to shop. We're checking out a new boutique that I've not been to in my town. I love boutique shopping, which I always feel so bad about because you guys ask me so often where I get my clothes and I just often boutique shop because one, supporting small businesses, local businesses, huge, huge fan of that always. Second, I wanna find more special pieces than like the pieces everyone's wearing from Zara or H&M or stuff like that. Not that those shops aren't good and yes, from time to time, I definitely do shop there. If I'm buying something, I want it to be super special and long lasting and really high quality. Just cause it's cute doesn't mean I need to get it or just cause I like it doesn't mean I need to get it. I want it to like really fit a wardrobe because I'm tired of having all these pieces that go in and out of style that are super low quality and cheap, stuff like that. So I'm really focused on high quality Quality pieces so I'm not getting as much shopping done at, at once like I used to because I'm getting more just one or two really high quality pieces and I'm being so specific so I need to like love it so much I need to not be able to forget about it if I leave the store and I'm still thinking about it two or three days later I know that this piece is what I wanted but if I leave the store and then the next day I don't even remember the things that I tried on yesterday it was never worth it in the first place so it's good to be picky sometimes. I'm a very picky person, but sometimes it pays off. So going to do some shopping today. Uh, we're also gonna do some nail content today. My sweet mother, I just, I've signed her up for so much content because you guys, look at these nails. These are the coolest nails I think I've gotten this year. We're gonna do nail content, wearing my monthly Fabletics outfit. So we need to get a little bit of Fabletics content. And we're just gonna do some just general content today. Also, not to mention, going to see Barbie. Um, leave a comment below your opinion on it. Loved it, loved it, loved Barbie. I went last weekend and I'm forcing my mom to go because I think she's also gonna love it. And I love that a lot of the storyline is about motherhood in the movie, like mother-daughter relationships. So I think it'll be cute to watch it with her. So it's Barbie today. It's just so many good things today. So I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, what are you showing? You're wearing your pink? Mom's, I told mom to wear pink. She's wearing a little bit of pink. I'll show you her fit. We're gonna do a fit check here in a little bit. No. <laughs> and that's about all I got. So let's create a very zestful day.
just use that. I'm holding her tea. They didn't have matcha. Huge disappointment. Scored big time at the sale. I found the most gorgeous dress. I didn't show you guys because I want to do a try on haul later. I could not say no to. Everything else didn't fit me right or was it the right color or this and that. Getting away with an amazing steal. Feels so good. We went to Fox in the Snow, which is supposed to be the best coffee shop in Columbus, but mom and I are starting to not like it. It's like once it gets too big, it kind of, it goes down a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still incredible. We're not gonna bash it that hard, the, but- The pecan roll was delicious. The pecan roll was delicious. The little strawberry tart thing we got, we haven't even tried it. The strawberry puff pastry with like custard. It looked like it had been sitting out all day. And like, I get it. It's probably hard to like know how many pastries you're gonna make. But for example, my mom and I really wanted to get this savory tomato tart because it's summer, it's tomato season and it's noon, it's almost one o'clock and they don't close till two. So you'd think they'd reserve the summer, I'm sorry, the savory pastries, but they threw them all out by noon. Why they couldn't just keep them in a fridge and heat them up for customers, I don't get. But why would you throw away the savory pastries, yet leave out the custardy strawberry, sorry. During lunch time. And I really wanted a matcha. It's just, there's a little disappointment there. But it's all good. We're off to a bigger shopping mall to check a few other stores for their sale sections. And then it's Barbie. So if you guys couldn't tell, my life is right now kind of repetitive, routine-based. I'm not super adventurous, not trying new things, not going to these incredible crazy places because that's just where I am in life. How I started the vlog was pretty harsh with kind of explaining I'm going through some growth and some change and dealing with really hard decisions and learning how to be an adult. So if you're dealing with something like that too, it is okay to find comfort in routine and things you know you love to do. You can't have every Every part of your life be so adventurous and it gets really hard because I'm in a world of always comparing myself to what everyone else is doing on social media and how they're doing it and the life they're living and so it gets in my head sometimes but I just say this out loud mostly for me <laughs> maybe it helps you too the reminder that you don't always have to be so so adventurous you can find comfort in your monthly pizza date that you always go on and take yourself on because there's so much good to comfort and routine as much as there is in trying hard and growing and change and all of that so another lesson of moderation and balance with the Mediterranean lifestyle. Just literally walked out of my hair appointment. I was overdue for a serious, serious trim and I'm going on a really special trip in about a month. And so to make sure my hair was perfect for when the time for the trip comes, we went so super dark that like it looks like I've lost like all my highlights and stuff. But she said that literally the next two or three washes, when I wash my hair, even more color will come out. My hair was apparently just so dry <laughs> that it absorbed all this color like a sponge, but I have so much color to lose. So this is not what my like hair technically really looks like. This is kind of just like a fake out. And so today has been a wonderful, wonderful day from going to the farmer's market this morning. Stopped for an acai bowl because I'm still having a huge addiction to acai bowls. And then crossed over a bridge, took some photos today because I got pretty beautiful farmer's market flowers. So expensive, but they were gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. And then I came here after the farmer's market and got the hair done. So I'm just feeling super, super awesome. <laughs> I'm feeling like a spoiled girl today. Today has been another fulfilling day, a very zestful day. It's, I decided to create it. I decided to create my situation of going out and being out in the world, going to go do things. It's just, you kind of have to tell yourself like, yes, I definitely at times agree that weekends need to be lazy and relaxed. And sometimes you just need to like regroup on the weekend, but you equally like, I feel like want to live life and experience things and go out and do things. It's just trying to learn to balance better. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling, but my hair, Feels incredible, spoiling myself way too much lately, <laughs> but you're worth it. So yeah, not that I'm trying to justify it, but you don't owe anyone an explanation. When you feel like you need a little treat, you treat yourself and you don't owe anyone. And then you just remember balance, moderation, all that stuff. So love the hair. That's the final story. 
For the final amazing recipe of this vlog, I wanted to do something sweet and delicious called a fregolota. Well, my version of it, at least. It's kind of like a jam tart. They have a crostata in Italy where it's a tart with jam in the middle, and it's super delicious. It's like a shortbread cookie kind of texture and flavor, but uh, fregolota was kind of more of like a crumbly one, and so I thought almost like oatmeal cookie last year when I created it because I had so many apricots. I made an apricot jam or preserve, and today I also made this now with like a peach preserve and I added a bunch of cinnamon to the cookie base so the cinnamon paired really really well with that peach it was inspired by <laughs> earlier in this vlog you saw I got that pastry with the strawberry matcha um, when I was in German village that pastry was like a danish with peach and and cream in it and it was so good so this was inspired by that because we had a bunch of frozen peaches from last year so this was an inspiration of kind of using up what you got because that's all always my goal on the Mediterranean lifestyle. So I made this delicious oatmeal pastry crust cookie thing, packed it into a tart shell and baked off the crust. Totally forgot about it. We're not going to talk about it too much because technically, let's say in a perfect world, I wouldn't forget that it was in the oven. So I overbaked it just a smidge, but it still turned out delicious. You reserve a little bit of the dough and add in those almonds for an extra crunch. I added almond flour into the dough, so I thought the almonds would add a delicious crunch to the top. And you put the peach jam in when it's cooled like give it a two or three minutes to cool down so you can kind of handle it you can use whatever your favorite jam or preserve is i just had the peaches like i said i'll show you on tiktok or instagram within like the week next week or so how to make the peach jam but anyways you spread on the jam add in a little bit more of that crumble on top or add the rest of the crumble on top of the jam and put it back in the oven for just a few more minutes um that's why you definitely don't want to over bake or like I had baked the bottom perfectly and that was a big mistake because it's going to bake a little bit more once you add the top on but it's like I said it still turns out delicious and because it's kind of like a crumbly cookie I definitely recommend cooling it completely before cutting it into cutting it into cutting into it because it, it crumbles a little bit e easily it's not like the nature valley bars where it literally just crumbles to pieces as soon as you bite into it but it's definitely more of like a shortbread crumbly texture than like a chewy cookie but the jam complemented it so so well like this is i think the f my favorite recipe for sure throughout august it's usually always a sweet recipe that i love the most and it's really hard because i've made a lot of delicious recipes this month but this recipe was so good it's so good for breakfast it's so good as a delicious sweet treat you could add some ice cream or whipped cream on top of it warm it up and kind of add that ice cream and let it melt on top or you can have it with breakfast a little scoop of yogurt all the things it's such a delicious delicious treat and that is how i wanted to close out the vlog with one of my favorite recipes ever thank you so 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 much for your support please let me know your favorite part your favorite recipe of this video i appreciate you guys so much you are incredible and until next time i hope you create a very very zestful day ciao